let's talk a little bit about the monetization strategy. Mm -hmm. what, what exactly is your business plan and how is it evolving? So we've created an ad platform called Promoted Tweets. Uh, we've rolled that out to uh, sort of a group of initial uh, advertising partners. We continue to expand that group of advertising partners month to month. I would say that uh, we started it in April um, with the expectation that we would be very cautious. We would test, we would retest, we would, be, we would take a measured approach to growing it. Um, it's been much more successful than we could have uh, possibly anticipated. Uh, and the ads work, they're effective, the advertisers love them, so we'll probably start to accelerate that even a little bit more quickly than we'd we, uh, planned to. How much money are you guys making off of promoted tweets right now? Uh, we're making as much money as we need to make off of them right now. We've obviously planned to make a lot more. I think the, the specific thing to say about the promoted tweets platform is we believe that it will be a platform for all of the kind of companies that use Twitter. We're only working with uh, you know, sort of a low double-digit number of advertisers right now, but we plan to keep increasing the number of advertisers that we bring on as we prove the efficacy of the, of the ads that we're running. And you guys are using the concept of resonance too, where if yes. it doesn't get as many clicks, then or then as many eyeballs, then it goes away, right? So the concept behind resonance is interesting. We actually conceived of it as a way for advertisers to use Twitter in the organic way that companies were already using it. So instead of just saying, hey, I'm going to create a tweet that people have to click on. Lots of companies use Twitter for things like, here's a hashtag I'd like you to reuse, or here's something I hope gets retweeted, or here's a message I'd like to get replies to. And the idea behind Resonance was, let's measure all the different ways people interact with a tweet, and then compare the advertisement's resonance to the average tweet from that company's resonance. And if the tweet doesn't resonate with users in the way the company is using the tweet, then we don't show it as an ad anymore. So uh, what other what other things are you working on? I know how how else are you guys going to make money? I know you have licensing agreements, and I, I, there may be something with a premium account. Can you? How else are you guys yeah. going to make money? So I think that the advertising platform will be one pillar of the uh, monetization strategy, and then we'll have a commercial uh, a commercial uh, pillar to the strategy. The commercial pillar will involve things like transactions and reducing the distance between the tweet and the transaction. So making it easier for people to buy things on Twitter, uh, making it easier for people to do things like make reservations, uh, uh, select coupons for local offers, and, and that sort of thing. So are you guys profitable right now? We're just, so we're not profitable right now. Uh, I think the, the specific thing that I try to say over and over and stress is, We've got plenty of time to take this model and grow it. We're not worried about having a certain number of advertisers or a certain amount of revenue by you know, the end of this year. We're focused much more on the user experience and protecting the quality of the user experience as we begin to monetize the platform, knowing that we're big enough and we're growing fast enough that the profits will come. So, I mean, let's go back to that. Do you guys, at what point do you lose a bit of credibility when you don't exactly reveal that you're profitable, reveal, you know, how much profit well, you guys are making? Can, it's a fair question. I think you can worry about profits too quickly. Um, and then when you do that, then the platform isn't organic to the way people are already using the platform. And then there's this dissonance between the way users are working with your platform and the way you're trying to make money. By trying to merge those two together and make sure that we're making money in a way that's organic to the way the users use Twitter, we think that it's going to be much easier for us to become a profitable company in the long run and scale organically. So can you at least say, are you guys making more money this year than you were last year? Yes, definitely.